What's up, collectors? It's your man, Fatal. Coming to you with another review. Prime One Studio and Sideshow Collectibles are proud to present Cyborg from Justice League New 52. DC Comics relaunched their entire comic catalog. In this continuity, Cyborg is one of the founding members of the Justice League. Cyborg, also known as Victor Stone, is a superhero who is half man and half machine. His body was destroyed, but he was saved through experimental technology. His body parts have been replaced with a large arsenal of high-tech gadgets and weaponry. This impressive polystone statue stands at 23.4 inches tall, 14.3 inches wide, and 16.9 inches deep. So it's not gonna be a massive space hog for your shelving units. Would fit perfectly on a Besta. Now this statue that I currently have, you can check the unboxing on my channel. I got it from Eric B. He's one of the rogue gallery guys from the Batman statue collector and the Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. He sold this to me pretty much at cost and he was very reasonable on the shipping. Now it'd be hard to find this guy, but if you can, he's great to add to your collection if you're not paying too much over the original price. This is the exclusive version. And this version comes with one switchable right arm sonic cannon, an alternate regular portrait, and a switchable right arm hand cannon with the exclusive version only. The alternate exclusive portrait is the one with the gritting teeth. The regular version of the statue included 500 pieces worldwide, and this exclusive version included 350 worldwide. Part man, part machine. Vic Stone is a former member of the Teen Titans and a current member of the Justice League who wrestles to preserve his humanity with every new upgrade. First appearing in DC Comics Presents, number 26, October 1980. I don't know what this little suit is. Looks like a porn star, but his first Teen Titans cover was June 1st. <laughs> Man, <laughs> June 1st, 1982. And his first television debut was on Smallville season six where he just wore this little jacket and I guess this is him getting infused with the inner cyborg which kind of sucks but it was Smallville his first big screen debut was on the Zack Snyder's Justice League and this is where he gets a little justice played by actor Ray Fisher this was a far cry from Smallville and that leotard that he used to wear in the 80s. And we know what happened with Ray Fisher, and hopefully he can come back because I think he did an outstanding job. As we take a closer look at the details of this statue, we see his jetpack on his back. The paint on this is very good, uh, like a matte silver finish. And here's the normal portrait that you get with the regular version. And here's the exclusive portrait with the gritting teeth. And I think they did a decent job with the teeth. The skin um, is like kind of got a shine to it. This is a polystone statue. I like uh, the, the hair. It's very textured to the touch on the top of his scalp. And here's a close up of that right arm cannon that comes with the regular version. You would think this is the exclusive version, but the open palm cannon is the exclusive version. And as you take a close up of the metal beams, now these have been destroyed by none other than Dark Side. And I like the coloring on it. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm gonna talk about that later with my fatal score, but 
The battle damage looks really good. The close-ups of the stone, it's done really well. And here's some of the rebar that you see sticking out of the stone from this broken up building from a battle of the Justice League and Darkseid. And here's a close up of the base. And as you look at the very bottom of the base, you see the Cyborg C engraved. And I think it's great attention to details down there. And you can get a close up of these, uh, the rock, the stone. I think it's painted very well. Um, it's, it's done very nicely. Overall, this statue, um, it's a lot, of, a lot of details. Was not too difficult to put together. And now, for the fatal score. For the portrait, I give this statue an eight. This is my lowest portrait score yet since I've been doing the fatal score. But I think it's a good portrait, but it could have been done better. I think the paint is, is done nicely. However, there's some miscues here. And I think there was a failed attempt at a mustache and I had to drop the score a little bit. High value. Well, I got this at cost and I don't see this being sold on eBay a lot. So I don't see this dropping in price ever. So I think the value is good. And I got that at a nine. Accessories. He's got the jet pack. And he's got the arm cannon. And then he's got the hand cannon. But Cyborg has a lot of accessories. If you look at the comic books. He can almost weaponize anything that he thinks about. And I believe that they could have added a few more. So I dropped that to an eight. The texture. I gave the texture a 10 because of the base alone because the base has a lot of detail, a lot of texturing. It feels like real stone. I love the rebar. I love the metal beams. So I think the texture is really good and I gave it a 10. The application of paint, I gave that a nine. Could have been done slightly better, but I don't see any imperfections or bleeding. So it's still a high score at nine. Lasting appeal. For me, there's not a lot of black DC characters out here and Cyborg is one of the longest lasting and he's been around since 1980 so his lasting pill is a nine. The sculpture I think that this is sculpted very well I think it's from from top to bottom from the base to the pose to the um, stability of the statue I think it's sculpted very well so I gave it a 10. The concept I give the concept a nine um, this is a destroyed base of a building with stone and rebar and everything. And I think that um, it, it tells a great story. Originality. Now, off the top of my head, I can recall that there's three cyborg statues out here. A 1-6 scale by XM, which is the newest of the bunch this one of course and a third scale by Prime One Studio from the Justice League movie and when I'm judging originality on this one I'm kind of judging the pose and pretty much all of them have the same pose so I had to drop the originality score down to eight not a bad thing but just not very original and for rarity I give this statue a 10 and I'm fine with that score because like I said, as I recall, I only know of three statues right now. And I think back in the day, Bowen may have done one, but there's a one six scale, this quarter scale, and a third scale from the Justice League movie. So they don't make a lot of cyborgs like most statues like Batman or Superman. So he's an off shot character, so to speak. So I give this a 10 in rarity. And when I take all 10 of those scores and divide them by 10, I get an excellent score of a nine. It is an excellent statue. If you can find him at cost or just a bit over, I probably wouldn't go $200 more than the original. I think it'll be a great deal.
that's it for this video, guys. This is Fatal the Collector. Hey, if you like this content, please leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification for upcoming content. I enjoy this and I enjoy the community. Thank you guys again for tuning in. This is Fatal the Collector. God bless. Peace.